the gospel reflection of the day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mombani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the soul. It is Friday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time, the 30th day in the month of June 2023. We thank God for this end of the month, even as we entrust ourselves to the coming new month of July. And our theme for today is Jesus Makes Us Clean. From the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him, and there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Beloved in Christ Jesus, Today, Jesus meets the leper. His humble and simple prayer to Jesus is so moving. Sir, if you will to do so, you can cure me. And Jesus responds, I will do it. Be cured. As simple as that. But I tell you, it takes faith. In this passage, Jesus is walking down from his sermon on the mount into the valley below and is mobbed by the people. In the midst of all this, a person who was a social outcast greets him. This man was suffering from a bad skin infection and decided to cut across his social status to both humble himself and be bold enough to go to the great teacher for the possibility of healing. Leprosy, as you well know, much akin to sin, was known as a dire and dreaded disease and looked down upon by the Jews as a particular mark of God's displeasure in someone. Sin is the leprosy of the soul, shutting us out from communion with God. In like measure, lepers were burned to a life outside the camp where they had no physical contact with others. They were not allowed in the temple for worship. Their arms were not allowed to hug. Their ears heard no conversation. And their hearts received no words of encouragement or even affirmation. Rather, alone or perhaps in the company of other lepers, they had to constantly scream out, Unclean! Unclean! to warn passerbys not to come near them. Loving friend, Christ came to turn away the wrath of God by taking away sin, so it is therefore fitting that the first miracle Matthew records begins with the cure of a leper, one that could not help himself. Leprosy was a disease the Jewish people knew only God could heal. And Leviticus gives us the specifics of the Jewish law for those who had leprosy. The person with such an infectious disease must wear torn clothes, let his hair be unkempt, cover the lower part of his face and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as he has the infection, he remains unclean. He must live alone. He must live outside the camp. Leviticus chapter 13 verse 45 and onwards. So he receives his healing. His social status is also healed, all in accordance to the law and the grace that is to come. Jesus always heals when we come to him, dear friend, either physically or spiritually. God is always working whether we clearly see his hand or not. So as believers, this world is not our home, but heaven is. Whatever thorn he allows in our lives to remain, whether infirmity, sickness or whatever, he uses that for our own good. How can we say that it is never God's will for us to be sick if it was his will to bruise his own son? Divine power is often best displayed against the background of human weakness, as St. Paul puts it. 
Flesh often fights against tribulation even after earnestly praying for its removal. So our attitude of acceptance of whatever is allowed in our lives points us back to knowing He always has our best interest at heart and even though we perhaps cannot understand, we can still trust Him. It is called faith because He provides the grace sufficient to meet each need He allows in our lives. So we have our own leprosies. We have got our own leprosies and the leper can be a symbol for all those who are marginalized by our societies for one reason or another. We pray for the grace to embrace all God's people without any form of discrimination, be it foreigners or people of a different color or culture or gender or religion, those with addictions, drugs and alcohol, everyone else that we think is not part of our belonging or our house. They belong to the Lord. We are a family of God. Let us make this our responsibility to be agents of healing, to reintegrate such people and accept them fully as our sisters and brothers. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalyn Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul.